Happy Friday. A happy Friday. A happy Friday to your baby. Yes, it is Friday. Okay. And I am extremely happy. Look here, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Hit that like, share, subscribe, and that bell. And go ahead and leave your girl a comment. Because I love, 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 love comments. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So this morning, let me jump right on into it. Got my little eggs and I got my little... <coughs> Excuse me. I got up early enough this morning to make me a lightweight breakfast. Um, got my little eggs and got my little, um, what else I got in here? My, my, my yogurt for breakfast and a banana. And then for lunch, I'll probably eat a salad, a chicken, a, a grilled chicken salad. Um, that's probably what I'm going to go next door and get. But anyway, you guys, let's jump right into my topic. Um, Last night, um, I had got some, uh, a text message from someone, um, and, um, they was like, Trace, I miss, you've been on my mind, and, um, I was just texting you to, to let you know that God loves you, and that, um, uh, if you ever need anything, you can always call me, and, um, you know, don't worry about this and don't worry about that. She was like, I don't know. You just on my mind. And I texted back. I was like, well, thank you. It's good to be on people's mind. You know, so we got into a deep conversation. I want to let you guys know something. When you are in your dark, dark space in your life, your darkest moment. And especially if you know God and if you know right from wrong, okay? Sometimes we, we do things, okay? And we don't, we don't, we don't want to, uh, what's the word? I just had my thought and it just went away. Um, sometimes in our life, God will shake you up. Have you ever had been in a situation to where nothing goes right? You don't sleep well at night. Everything you try to do, it seems like something happened. You don't get no rest. Okay. Sometimes God will make you uncomfortable. He'll shake you up. He'll shake you up. Okay. He'll shake you up and, and he'll keep shaking you. Where you have no comfort in sleeping and, and anything. You just, you just, he's trying to get your attention. And sometimes God will break you down. And I'm talking to, I, because I'm religious, okay? And um, this, what I'm saying is relatable to people that's not religious. If you don't believe in God, there's, you have a higher power. Okay, and sometimes in your life when you're depressed and when you're going through things, and a lot of times we don't want to face things, but God will make you, because he will shake you up, because he want to get your attention. He want to break you down to where it's just you and him. Just He will strip you down to where it's just you and him. And then that's when you sit back and you look at your life, you look at where you are, you look at some of your decisions. We come to a point where we should want to make changes. And I was telling her, I was talking back to her and I was like, you know, I've been through a lot in my life. You know, a lot of my childhood growing up, this, 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 this. most of mine was emotional trauma. And then she starts saying, girl, you ain't the only one. And she starts telling me. What she been through? I was like, wow. 
is always somebody out there worse off than you. Don't feel like you're the Lone Ranger. There's always somebody out there who's worse off. They get it. Okay? They get what you're saying. But people handle their things in their way differently. Everybody's not the same. <coughs> Excuse me. We all don't process things the same. We all don't think the same. And, we, and the way we process things are different. It's different, you know. But um, sometimes you have, you have to reach rock bottom. It's inedible. Sometimes you need to reach rock bottom to realize that things are just not okay the way they should be. Don't be discouraged, you guys. If there's someone out there that is going through something and you feel defeated, and you feel that, that it's just, is over. Look, I, I, I you know, it is. It's always a comeback. It's always a comeback. We have to reach deep down to find that comeback. You know what? Sometimes people want to use God. They use God. Okay. When their life is going good, they stop going to church. They stop praying. They stop reading their Bible. They stop doing the things that they did to get them where they are. They stop thinking positive. They just be out there just willy-nilly just out there. They don't do any of those things that help them. And then soon as something happened and they hit a bump, and they hit a, a, a spot in their life, then they want to go back to God. That ain't right. You can't use God like that. He, and God is a loving God. He still lets you in. He'll still open up the door for you to come back in. He will never shut it down. But he's going to make you work even harder this time to get your blessing. Now you got to work even harder. Okay, now you got to do some more things. Some more changes. Now you got to prove yourself even more. Okay. Instead of. You can't. You can't use God like that. You can't just run to God when problems are. Has a, arisen. Okay. We are going to have obstacles. That's how we grow. That's how we learn. That's how we get wisdom. That's how we get strong. Okay. The obstacles are there to teach us, okay? The obstacles are there to, to test our faith, to test our willpower, to test, you know, how bad do you want it, okay? But you can't let that defeat you, you know? And you just can't just throw in the towel. It's over. No. Okay, God will continue to, to love you and, and let you back in. But if you want to keep your blessings going strong and you want to stay strong, we have to continue to pray, continue to, to, to think positive, to continue to get out of the circle of negativity and, and the energy of negativity. We have to continue to do that. We can't just stop. OK, we have to work for our best life. We have to work to have our life to be golden, like Jill Scott said. OK, so we have to work for it. But a lot of times we I find I see people that will use God. Only only pray when they in the need, when they going through some. OK. Yes, people do that. Don't do that. Because then when you hit rock bottom, I mean, you be all the way. Sometimes you can be so down on the ground. You can be so low that you have to look up to see the ground. That's how low you be. 
so low. You have to look up to see the ground. We all have been there before. We all have. I'm here to, to encourage you today that don't throw in the towel. Don't throw in the towel. Okay? Keep going. Keep striving. You know, sometimes we have to make a decision in our life. And it could be the hardest thing to do. And it's so uncomfortable to do it. And you be feeling like, God, I wasted so much time. I can't believe this. And and it's so uncomfortable and you just don't want to do it. You just don't want to deal with it. Once you deal with it, once you deal with that issue, once you deal with that with that situation, it's not going to be comfortable in the beginning. But I'm here to tell you that too shall pass. Okay, you will feel better. Okay, your mind will open up. You'll be able to think. New ideas will come to you. You'll be able to breathe. Okay, doors of opportunities will open up. The floodgates of opportunity will open up. You know, sometimes we can be blocking our blessing because we got so much junk in our doorway. Can't nothing come in through the door because it's blocked with boxes and bags and, you know, junk. We can't even get through the front door. Can't even let no blessing come in because we blocking it with all that junk, with all that hatred and envy and jealousy, depression, low self-esteem. That's all that trash that's in the way, that's blocking the entrance of our blessing. We're blocking it. God can't let no bless us with nothing. We got too much junk in the doorway. And then even if you do make a little bit away, maybe you stop doing one or two things. So that's one or two boxes out of the way. It's a little bit of room for some for, for a little blessing to come in. But now you your hallway is full of stuff. They can't get that now they can't get past the door. They're in the door but now they can't they can't go no no further. They can't go down the hallway because you got now you got boxes and bags and, and all kind of stuff in the hallway. We can't just clean out one section. We gotta clean out the whole section. So your blessing came in and you blew it. Sometimes we get blessed with things. We get an opportunity to have things. We get blessed with opportunities and we mess it up. We mess it up because we still got all that junk and stuff in the way. We have to clean house. And our house is us, our temple, our mind, our thoughts, our actions. We have to come to terms with things that happened to us in our past, in our childhood. Nothing we can do about that. But things that happen to you in your childhood, it does affect you. It does. It, it does affect you. It, 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 it helped create the character that you are. Okay? But we can fix that. Okay? We can't go back and change it. But we can deal with it. We can, we can accept it. We can look at it. We have to look at it. We have to accept it. We have to keep moving. Because if we don't, we're going to be stuck with it. That's just like driving your car. And all of a sudden, you just stop in the middle of the street. Because you mad because you ran over that, that, that can a mile back. You ran over something, a can or a box or whatever. You hit something. You scratched your car. Got a little scratch or a flat tire. I don't know. Something happened to the car two miles back. 
So now after you realize you, you drive and you trip it off what happened two miles back. So you just stop your car in the middle of the road and now you ain't gonna go drive further. You gotta drive further. Maybe you you run into somebody that can help you fix the scratch. You don't know that because you just stopped in the middle of the road. You don't know what's going to happen to you in your, in your future. You don't know what kind of blessing you're going to have. You don't know what you're going to run into. You don't know what's going to happen because you just stopped in the middle of the road. You didn't threw in the towel. You tripping off what happened two miles back. Instead of just keep driving because you never know you might run in. You might run into somebody. At a gas station or a liquor store, wherever. You might see a, I don't know. You might see somebody. You might run into a car dealership or a car lot or a car auto body shop. I don't know. That might want to help you. But you don't know that because you, you just stopped in the middle of the road. That's what it is with our life. We can't have a future. We can't keep going if we still trip it up with what happened in the past. We can't go back and change that. All we can do is look at it, accept it, and try to change it. Get some help to deal with it. Get some help to, to accept it. Okay? Get some help to, to be able to cope with it. We see, now it gets to the point... We have to cope with things. We have to find a good coping mechanism. And if we can find a good coping skill that help us cope, then we'd be able to, to get back and turn our car on again. We might not be able to drive too fast, okay? But we're driving, we're moving. That's it, you guys. We can't throw in the towel when things go wrong. Sometimes it happens for a reason. Sometimes God will shake you up to get your attention. To get your attention. And it 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 be it it, it, it it's deep. It's deep. It ain't pretty all the time. It ain't pretty. It ain't pretty. Just like when you people go to the to that um, alcohol anonymous, and people stand up and say their name, and then and they say their story, and a lot of stuff that they sus have su suppressed, they they talk about because there's reasons why people drink, there's reason why people eat, there's reason why people cry, there's reason why people cut themselves. It's reason why people do things. Sometimes they do it they don't want to think about things. And that's their coping mechanism. We got to get a new coping mechanism. We got to throw all our junk out. And in order to clean up your junk, you have to go through it. You know how you you do your spring cleaning? In the summer, in the springtime, you want to clean out your closet. You want to clean out your drawers, get rid of all them old clothes. But while you're doing that, you're going through your drawers. You're looking at, oh, I can't wear these pants more. No they got holes in them. Oh, I can't wear these. They got too small for me. Oh, I can't wear this shirt. It's too big. You're going through your junk and you're tossing it out. Same thing with our life. We have to look at it. We have to go through our junk. We have to face it. We have to accept it. We have to go through our stuff so we know what to toss out. And once we go through our stuff and toss out the things we need to toss out and keep the things we need to keep, that's your beginning. That's your beginning to happiness. That's your beginning to happiness. <sighs> Clean your house. Clean your temple. Clean our house. This is the house. We are the house. 
We're the building. We're the temple. We need to clean it. We need to wipe down our windows. We need to vacuum. We need to throw out old junk. That old junk that don't mean nothing. Just piling up. All that old junk that's piling up. Piling up. Piling up. We need to clean it out. We need to get rid of it. We need to get rid of it. We need to get rid of it. That's it, you guys. Don't throw in the towel. That's it. Now, what I always say when I end my videos. Keep your head up, your chest out. And Tracy, I want to tell you, don't walk around with your head hung low. You hold your head up. That's it. I got to talk to myself too, y'all. I encourage you. I got to encourage myself. Keep a smile on your face, regardless of what you're going through. It's nobody's business what you're going through. That's between you and your God. That's it, you guys. That's it. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.